How to install Oblivion Mods Every program talked about in this video will be in the description below. To begin, make sure you have WinRAR downloaded. This helps us extract compressed folders that carry the mods for us. To add, for modding Oblivion, I highly suggest not having the game installed in your program files. For the most part, the program files directory is write protected, and you could run into problems when trying to modify or configure any files inside. If you already have Oblivion installed in your program files, I suggest reinstalling to another folder. A good example would be making a games folder on your C drive. Step 1. Head over to nexusmods.com. Nexus Mods has all the programs and applications that we need to go ahead and get the mods running. Now unfortunately we do need to make an account real quick on the website, but it shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. It's important to note here that you actually don't need to pick a membership package and you can just scroll down just like this and click create account. Step 2. What we need now is a mod manager to help us unpack our mods. In this tutorial we're going to be using a mod manager called Rybash. Click download on the right and then click the first link. It'll automatically start downloading Rybash. Once completed, open the folder and run the Rybash application. Make sure the install for Oblivion box is checked along with Rybash standalone as well. Navigate and install Rybash in your Oblivion directory folder. My directory path will look different from yours since I have Oblivion installed in my E drive, so please make note of this. If the installation worked, you'll see a Moppy folder inside your Oblivion directory. Step 3 OBSE. We now need to manually increase Oblivion's scripting abilities. Unfortunately, Rybash is just a mod manager program that helps us decompress and load mods. Before we can experience the Oblivion mod greatness that it is, we need to allow Oblivion the capabilities to do so. Welcome to OBSC, or Oblivion Script Extender for short. Now you may be thinking, can't Rybash decompress OBSC for us? Unfortunately, it can't. And like I mentioned earlier, it's something we have to do manually and configure in the Oblivion directory folder. On the OBSC page on Nexus Mods, click the download button on the right hand side. It's important to note the instructions for installing and running OBSC differ based on whether you're using a retail or Steam version of Oblivion. If you have the Steam version of Oblivion, copy OBSC 12416, OBSC Editor 12, and OBSE Steam Loader to your Oblivion directory. Ensure you have enabled the Steam community in game or OBSC will fail to load. Go to Steam, Settings, In Game, and check the box marked Enable Steam Overlay. If you have the retail version of Oblivion, copy OBSC 12416, OBSE Editor 12, and OBSC Loader.exe to your Oblivion directory. From this point on, you will be running obse underscore loader dot exe to play Oblivion. It's super important to make sure obse underscore loader dot exe is in your directory so you can make a copy of the shortcut and put it on your desktop. Verify the obse folder was created. You can verify this by clicking data in your Oblivion directory folder and then you should see obse with a plugins folder inside. If you don't see an OBSE folder inside the data directory, don't panic. You can simply then just create a folder called OBSE, and then inside the OBSE folder that you just created, create a plugins folder as well. Step 4. Better Oblivion Sorting Software, or BOSS for short. BOSS helps Oblivion by setting the correct load order for plugins we install. It's good practice to run BOSS before starting Oblivion once you installed a new mod. On the BOSS website, click download BOSS on GitHub. Then go ahead and click BOSS.zip. This should start the download automatically. I recommend downloading BOSS to your desktop for easy access. Once downloaded, right click BOSS and click extract files. Click on the extracted BOSS folder and then click the bin folder inside. If you have a 32-bit operating system, click the top or if you have a 64-bit operating system, click the bottom. You can find out which operating system you have by right-clicking Computer, Properties, and then looking at System Type. In the respective folder that you choose, double-click on BOSS underscore GUI, and then hit Run BOSS. After completion, BOSS will give you a log. You can actually just go ahead and close out of this. If you made it this far, pat yourself on the back. Those were the main programs we needed to actually get into the fun stuff. Let's go ahead and download a simple OBSC plugin together. 
To make sure Oblivion is stable, we're going to download Oblivion Stutter Remover. Simply download Oblivion Stutter Remover on Nexus Mods, and when you click on the zipped file, you can actually just drop the data file into your Oblivion directory and it'll merge together. Other OBSC plugins I recommend will be on screen, and I'll have the links in the description below. The same way you installed Oblivion Stutter Remover is the same exact way how you install all of these plugins. So use this part of the video as a reference if you ever get lost. Now, in this beginner video, I just wanted to show you the essential programs needed, what they do, and some crucial plugins that you need to start modding in Oblivion. We didn't get to really use Rye Bash, but in my future video, we'll go into a little bit more intermediate guides on improving textures and other models in the game, which relies on Rye Bash unpacking those mods for us. Thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and are interested in me releasing more Oblivion modded content, let me know down below as I do read every comment and try and implement ways to improve on my next one. With that being said, I'll see you guys on my next video.